Hello and welcome. My name is Fraser from Elementary Technology. We're here in our experience center and I've got the Smart MX with me. I want to give you a quick demo and show you everything the board can do. So we're going to start with what the board can do all by itself. So what I mean by that is obviously with our old projectors, we can plug our laptop in and off we went. But now a lot of these screens have their own abilities. So everything I can do on this screen, this is called the home screen or Smart IQ. Everything I can do on here without my laptop plugged in at all. So first things first, I have simple resources like my whiteboard. So your whiteboard isn't a replacement for Smart Notebook or Lumio. This is just somewhere where I can grab a pen, I can set my paper and then I can write up on the screen. Okay, nice and simple to do, just when I wanna make some quick notes. I can add more pages in here if I want to, and I can even add in templates. There's lots of templates in there to use as well. So I'm just gonna add for now a blank page. And what you'll see is I can also add in images and also YouTube clips. Really, really useful. If I come into here, let's go for So I'm gonna have a look for times tables. I want to find a chart. So come in here, just like in Google, I'll give it a quick scroll till I find the one that I want. Tap on it, pops it straight onto the board. I can then take that image with one finger and move it around, or I can move it around with two. So it's very much like using a tablet. Again, if I go back into here, as well as that, I mentioned YouTube. So I can go onto the videos and I can drop YouTube videos in. So. Let's go for this one here. Again, tap, pop it on the screen. I'm gonna shrink that one down because as soon as I tap on it, it's gonna go full screen for me. The best thing about these is it will just play the video. So on YouTube, you get all the adverts and then it will roll on to something else at the end. With this, I'm gonna tap it. It's just gonna play my video. So it's the best and most safe way to use YouTube. Okay, so other things you can do in here. For instance, I can come into here, I can choose a different color pen. I can change the thickness and then it's nice and simple to be able to write on. It's pinpoint accurate, so it's a bit like writing on paper really. So much different to when we used to have the projectors. We used to have to calibrate the screens. With this, very much again like a tablet, I just pick up the pen and off I go. It's also intuitive, so if I didn't mean to circle that in purple because it doesn't show up too well, I can go in, find myself another color, there we go, that's a bit more clear. So really easy, I can just rub out with the back of my hand, I can move things around with my hands, and then I can use the pen to be able to draw or write. So nice and simple tools within here. Okay, so that's the whiteboard, as I said. I'm gonna hit the home button, go back to the home screen now. Other features we've got on here are things like the browser. So a super simple tool, if I want to use Lumio or BBC Bite Size, maybe I want to look for a TED Talk, I can jump straight onto the internet. I don't need to plug my laptop in for that. So I've got the browser. As well as that, other things you've got in here, and probably the most important one for me, are apps. So with these boards, we can connect up to Google Play. So Google Play has over 300,000 educational apps. So with all those in mind, you've got some fantastic content that you can pop straight onto your board. So I've got a load of apps here. So maybe I want to go into something like Google Earth. We're gonna do a geography lesson. So let's make it interactive. Let's make it fun and engaging. So we can find the country we're looking for on here. And then once we found it, we can zoom right in. We can even go three dimensional if we please. Again, I can always use my annotation tools, my pens over the top of anything I'm doing here. But as you can see, using apps is just so much more fun. In here, I can even have a look at the educational part of Google. So like I say, all these apps have so much content there for you, ready to go. It saves you a lot of lesson planning time. So coming out of that app, just while we're talking about that, when it comes to adding apps and what content you might want in the classrooms, the smart remote management system is amazing for managing the boards. Popping apps onto your screens, making sure they power down at the end of the day so you're not wasting electricity, setting up wallpapers, all sorts of things like that. Very simple to do. So make sure you check out the video on smart remote management as well. Okay, so other things on here that I'd probably look at 
would be screen share. Screen share is a really big one. If I just tap there, opens up Smart Mirror. So this allows students and teachers to share any device in the classroom up onto the screen. So all they need is this quick number here. They can join via the link or they can download the app. So any device can join. As long as their device goes on the internet, it'll connect up here. So we can see we've got Jasmine connected here. I can just tap on her and I can invite her to present. And then she's on a Chromebook today, so she'll just click OK. And then whatever's on her Chromebook appears on my screen. Then I might want to take my pen and I can help her out. So at the moment, she's trying to choose her subject. So I can then highlight anything on here and talk with the group about it. So as I said, screen share works across any device. Doesn't matter if you've got old laptops, brand new iPads, Chromebooks, bring your own devices and they're using phones, anything at all, if it connects to the internet, this is gonna work perfectly. So again, we'll just pop back to the home screen. Managing the device is really, really simple to do. It's essentially, you're treating it like a giant iPad, as we've already said. So let's say I want to connect it to the internet or change the wallpaper or check the brightness because it's not quite right. I would do it as I would on my phone or a tablet. Go into the settings, I can see there, network. So now I can pop it onto the internet. Or I might come down here to display, change the brightness, or pop into the wallpapers and change those. So very, very simple to look after this screen. Okay, so connectivity. We've had a look at what the screen can do all by itself. What I'd like to do now is have a look at, maybe we want to plug in a laptop. This one's got a computer built into it, which you can choose. Brilliant, because then you have no cables, no faff. So with the computer built into this, I can just click my input and move straight across to it. Or you might have, like I have down here, a laptop plugged in. So a laptop or a PC, you can plug in on the back or you can plug in on the front for ease of use. It does have USB-C. So with USB-C, that's gonna control the display as well as the touch. So one cable, and you connect it up. So that's really, really simple. Or it might be you want to use one of the HDMIs. There's lots of HDMIs. There's about three of them on this one. So I can connect up to those. I might have my laptop plugged into one of them. I might have my visualizer plugged into another. So there's loads of space to plug things in. There's my laptop there. My PC's just there turning on. So if I go into my laptop, I can show you what happens over there. And it's very much business as usual here. So when my laptop loads up, I can access my smart notebook files. I can access things like Lumio. So Lumio, just here, Lumio is essentially smart notebook, but it's smart notebook online. So it's kind of taking smart notebook to the next level. Some fantastic things to see there. So if you want to know more, let us know. But as I said, over here, it's very much business as usual. I'm on my laptop, but now I've got the perfect touch as opposed to what we had before. And also I can see it in the classroom. So if I've got a classroom where students are quite spread out, the display is so much better than having a projector in the room. So I can go into a smart notebook. I can deliver my lessons as I used to. You know, we talked about the pens. You know, the pen touch on here is absolutely perfect now. I can access all my files within Lumio online. And that's pretty much everything. So I hope that was helpful. If you'd like to know more and there's lots more to learn about these, do get in touch or you can come and visit us at the Experience Center. Thanks so much.